am going to create a broken Clash of Clans account. How will I do that? You will find out. We need to gem to Town Hall 15, making some strategic decisions along the way in order to gradually break the account. I've also only given myself 45 minutes to do this. See if we can beat my best of one hour. Wizards of Ivory Cam, let's get through the tutorial here. Come on, we're already a minute in? What? Nice going. Let's get this village into fighting shape. Second builder? <laughs> Just place it anyway. Elixir pump. Let's get that one. One gem. I might as well spend it. I will be spending a lot more than that in this video. Let's build a barracks. Now let's kick some green butt. Come on, barbarians. We're not using the wizard, but you need to take this down and fast. That was a great battle, do you think so? What should we be known as in history? Broken base. Yes, it lets me. With the gold we took from the goblins, we can get to town hall two. And with 15 levels, 45 minutes means there will be three minutes per town hall level, which currently we are on track for. But town hall one to two, I feel is a little bit quicker than what it will be once we get to town hall 11, 12, etc. Come on, villager. We just need to get through this. Good luck, chief. You've got this. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> okay, all of the new buildings. Let's get them built. Gold mine. Oh, what's in the shop actually? Let's take a look at this. If I close the base, will it give me an offer here? I'm going to risk it. Oh my goodness! Did we just lose the account already? Oh no, we didn't. I need to connect the Supercell ID. Uh, no, that experiment was useless. Let's actually connect the Supercell ID real quick. There we go, connected and 50 gems. I love it. What are we doing next? We need to build everything so that we can go to Town Hall 3 because we are already <laughs> falling behind. If I fail to do this inside of 45 minutes, I'm going to do an extra giveaway. Oh gosh, did I just gem a wall piece? I think I did. What is happening? That's right though, an extra giveaway. Away. More on that later, but we do have to try and catch up here first. Is that all of the buildings? I think it is. Do we have enough? Uh, 4,000. We should upgrade the storages as well, right? Because that's going to be important for filling up the storages. Town Hall 3, let's go. Woo, six minutes. We're on par. Do we not get a Town Hall 3 pack? Oh my goodness, 10% battery. Ah, where's my charger? Preparation, Judo. Starter pack, 5 million. Wow, let's enter code judo, support my own channel. That's a way you can as well through any purchases in the game. Thank you so much. Purchase successful. Oh, don't do the purchase failed thing. It did. Why am I even bothering? There we go, restored for free. We don't have to worry about the gold for a little while. We can let one of the builders work. And actually we can use that builder portion we just received. Maybe this will save us 40 gems if the mortar is built by the time we get to the end of the video. We do need all of the wall pieces. Previous builder? Oh God, I really wish wish you could use no builders for the walls. Like, check this out. When you build traps, let's actually get the builder building first so I can show you. <laughs> that was super quick. What's going on? Come on, I'm trying to demonstrate a point here. Oh, I didn't have the elixir. Uh, we can upgrade this storage. The storages, they just mean we get better value. Okay, now let me demonstrate it to you. The traps. You don't need a builder to build the traps. Why is that not the case with the walls? I don't know. Let's get these storages graded. Oh, we're going to be out of gems on storages. <sighs> You've got to remember, for me, these are business expenses. Purchase successful. Now we just need that, but we should fill up the elixir. Upgrade the gold storages. That's going to help us. Okay, there's another gold storage somewhere. There it is. Okay, I know I fell behind, but I am going to remove a couple of obstacles real quick just so we can rearrange this base. My OCD is already getting the better of me. Whilst I was already falling behind my 45 minute timer, I wasn't too worried because at the higher town hall levels, whilst the buildings are a lot more expensive, there's less of them. So hopefully I can catch up there. Then. What? I'm out of elixir from removing obstacles? Are you kidding me? That took way too long. Way too long. But we are pretty much ready, I think, to go to the next town hall level. Going to town hall four. Should this have been like 12 minutes or only nine? I've lost count already. Either way, we're almost uh, a third of the way through. Right. Now is the time where we can test out whether this is actually going to work because I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Unplaced items. I'm going to leave it. Not going to place that air defense. It says owned right there. So, Archer Tower. Place that. Dunk. Finish the upgrade. What happened to the air defense? Where did it go? Did it vanish? That is 
the qu oh there look unplaced items it shows it as a little box <laughs> yes okay now don't get too far ahead of yourself here judo it says i own the air defense even though i haven't placed it if you visit my base it's not there can i upgrade i have all of the buildings technically i can yes okay this is where the account is going to get progressively broken because we don't have an air defense right now any air attackers will crush us wizard tower pretty soon we're not gonna have a wizard tower <laughs> it works now we gotta go all the way all the way to 15 and i do have plans for this account as well i'm not just doing it for this one singular episode so let's get everything built here ah, this is tricky it says there's a new air defense but i own one of them i'm not 100 sure what to do here i guess we're gonna have to figure it out let's build everything else first unplaced items wizard tower and air defense <laughs> this is so cool okay defenses the two we've got the cannon and the archer tower and then that it said the number one before i built the archer tower now it says there's no defenses left to build okay town hall six <laughs> yes let's go 20 minutes and we're not even halfway through so we get a second wizard tower and the mortar in our little broken list now the reason i'm buying the pack straight away is so that i don't accidentally forget i guess we should oh my goodness what is wrong with me what happens if i press the x would that get rid of it as well Yes, it does. It just takes it straight to the unplaced items. Okay, that's good to know. This is awesome. Town Hall set. Oh, required buildings. Air defense. This is tricky because it's in my list. I can't buy the next one because I already own one. Oh, then now it lets me purchase the other air defense. Think about this. We get certain defenses in the packs whereby I could hold on to them. And you will see at this next level because we're not going to get a second Barbarian King. So we can forget about the air defense the account will progressively get broken but from time to time there might be something that i then have to build okay i don't need to know about this villager but i do need to make sure i purchase it and do not make the mistake of not purchasing it like i did in the previous episode still haunts me gold pass received now we just need to go to the 20 percent builder boost on the plus side, I did not forget to purchase the gold pass this time, but I always tend to forget something. So get ready. You can have a laugh at me again. Is it worth gemming past that? I mean, it's worth gemming to the Book of Building. Book of Heroes, we don't need. Rune of Dark Elixir, probably don't need. But honestly, for the sake of like an extra 300 gems, I kind of want my scenery. So there we go. Oh, and we can leave the statue thing in our unplaced items list. <laughs> Why not? Okay, Barbarian King, this is the moment. This is it. Will it let us upgrade without placing the Barbarian King? It should. Here we go. Unplaced item. We don't want you, King. You can stay there. Okay. Okay, I think we get a second Tesla at Town Hall 7. In fact, I'm pretty confident we do. Yes. So we are going to have to place the Tesla that we have. But really, the heroes is what I'm interested in. If we can get to Town Hall 15 without placing any heroes, that is just going to be fantastic. And it's going to set us up for the next episode using this account amazingly. That's actually exactly what we need. Even though I don't build the Barbarian King here, anybody attacking me, I don't have it for defense. Me attacking... I don't have it for offense. But in terms of war weight, it is calculated. So I am giving myself a disadvantage here. <sighs> now, this is interesting because I think it's better to let the pack switch because I get better value. But I guess just in case, I'll just keep buying the packs themselves. Ah, unplaced items. We don't want to place that. We want to buy the new things. I think this is the level where you get the most new items. And then obviously at Town Hall 9, we get the Archer Queen. So we get the second hero that we then can just stash in our little inventory so why don't we just power through this level because we only have 15 minutes to try and finish this off and get all the way to town hall 15. I can't wait until we have all of the heroes and the signature defenses in our broken unplaced items list. I also can't wait to show you what I have planned for this account, the future videos. I would definitely subscribe to see those. How do we have three wizard towers that are unplayed? Oh, that is why it is important that we bought the bomb tower and wizard tower because otherwise we'd have had to build the other wizard towers. Now, maybe in one of the Town Hall 9, 10, whatever packs, it will make us purchase that. But I guess time will tell. I'm the queen. Why is the Archer Queen level 7? But we're going to purchase it. And despite you being so pivotal in Clash of Clans, my Archer Queen, I'm actually going to press the red icon and you can just sit there and do nothing. <laughs> 
Okay, let's, I guess, get the expos. It is going to start getting a bit more costly, isn't it? And this is where, from buying those packs and not letting it switch out to purely resources, I think when we get higher up, might end up costing a little bit more than the previous episodes. Gosh, you forget how many archer towers you have in the game. My little mock-up base is already getting a little bit disorganized, but I don't want to have to completely revamp it. We need to do this in 10 minutes. Und, und. Oh, it's these. They did have a number one next to the defense. I think it's a wizard tower that I have to build. I guess if we just go to the town hall. Yeah, it's the wizard tower. Oh, and look. Oh, we have three of them. Oh, no. Can I build this one? No, it still makes me place the unplaced one. Is there any way around that that I am not thinking of? There's not. Like, I went to the town hall. I pressed the town hall itself. It wouldn't let me build it until I have built the unbuilt ones. Oh, well, we still have our heroes, which is the main thing. And when we get to Town Hall 15, we will have all four heroes. And I'm pretty sure, like, the scattershot, things like that, we should purchase the first one first. You'll see what I mean. That probably didn't make sense. Town Hall 10 pack. Why can't we buy that? Huh? Please wait. Transaction is pending. Oh, we've got seven minutes and I can't purchase it. I guess maybe if we kick that pack out, then it will let me do it. Oh, we're out of gold. <gasps> oh, gosh. And we didn't really upgrade the storages at this point either. Let's quickly do that. Oh, we're going to have to refill these and it's going to be very costly. Don't we get golden elixir in here? I guess we should. Oh, my goodness. What is wrong with me? How many of you commented? I was even saying that I forgot to gem the gold pass in a previous episode. I gemmed it here, got too carried away with the scenery, and didn't purchase the... <laughs> These timers, they really throw me off. At least I noticed before we got to like Town Hall 13 and having to gem the Town Hall itself, that could have been very costly. I don't think I lost too much there. I also have like notes here as well saying Town Hall 7, gem gold pass. It's on my notes and I didn't even look at it. Okay, let's just get this done. They're all at the max level. It hasn't gone through. This might be an Apple thing, you know. Oh my gosh. Why is everything slowing me down? Oh, and the, the transaction thing. No. Let me restart the game. See if we can fix this. Oh my goodness. There's the power level thing, but it still says transaction pending. Let's turn off my device. Once I fix this, I'll tell you about the giveaway. Hmm. Well, this isn't good. Okay, it is the next day. Let's load up the base. I still have my timer. And I did purchase the power level on my phone because I did not want to miss out on that offer. It's so cool seeing the unplaced items. Has it worked? Yes, it's there. Let's kick this off. Purchase the Town Hall 10 pack. We can continue on. So 45 minutes was obviously too optimistic. Let's see if we can at least get this inside the hour. We do need to purchase that expo before we go to the next level. But we don't need to purchase anything else. I actually wrote down. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so once we get to the scatter shot, for example, if I only get one scatter shot in the special offer bundle thing, if I build one of them first and then go ahead and purchase it, it will mean one of them is in the unplaced items. Let's take a look here. The bomb tower. Oh no, we are going to have to build our bomb tower, unfortunately, to then build this one. Such a shame. The eagle artillery. I'm pretty sure we get that in the pack alongside the ground. Grand Warden. Let's find out. Town Hall 11. Let's go. Yes, it's the Eagle and the Grand Warden. But well, here we go. Grand Warden. Uh, no, you're not needed. Neither is the Eagle Artillery. <laughs> <laughs> now, whilst I build the rest of these defenses, you might have seen the recent video by Jasso, where I took part in the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Clash of Clans edition. Now, he will be happy to know I'm not really going to make him send me the gems, but what I can do in order to serve the community better, since I have a bunch of Clash of Clans merchandise, I can convert the equivalent to Clash of Clans merch. And now, is that everything for Town Hall 11? It is Town Hall 12. This is where it gets costly, though. The Town Hall now fires back. We have to upgrade the Town Hall, but what is in the Town Hall 12 pack? Inferno Tower. Oh, and the Siege? 
workshop. We don't have to build the siege workshop. We only get three inferno towers. We have one right here. Is this the other inferno? It is. Okay, so let's actually finish this upgrade so I don't get confused. We've got two inferno towers. So if we purchase this, the inferno and the siege workshop will be added to our list. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I wonder how many items we could get on this unplaced section, but let's continue here. Defenses. We don't need to build anything other than the hidden Tesla. Two million to upgrade the town hall. Right now, we don't need to upgrade the storages, but I feel we might have to because they're going to get a lot more expensive as we move through here. So let's just plow on and we will figure it out as we go. Actually, this is... Oh, enter the shop. Code Judo is still in there. Seven minutes on my timer. The thing is, I don't want to rush too much and make a mistake and accidentally place one of those buildings down. I've got to be careful not to do that. Now, Town Hall 13, the next one, we yeah. get the Royal Champion. How many book of building do we have? We've got one book of building there, two book of building. That's it. So we need those for basically the last level of Town Hall 14 and then going to Town Hall 15 itself, I think. Town Hall 13, six minutes. Okay, so scatter shot and royal champion, but we can build two scatter shots. 8.9 million. Oh, as if in here there's not a rune of gold, but there is a book of building that we need to remember. So I actually think upgrading the gold storages is going to be helpful. I'm going to go one more level. I don't know if that's going to be worth it because the amount of gems I am spending, like that just cost me 3,200-ish gems. Would that have been enough to just fill the storage? Pretty much. So I don't know. But anyway, let's just fill the storages as it is. Build one scatter shot. It is. Let's leave that. But we can now purchase this. Let's confirm. I love how it did that in this video and not when we gemmed every hero to max level. <laughs> Pretty sure I've done this right. Royal champion. Nope, we don't need you. Look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So epic. Okay, we don't need anything else, right? Three traps. Let's get these. Okay, then we need to finish off this, I guess, so that we can then upgrade. See, it's six million. Are you kidding me? <sighs> we need to fill the storage right now. Uh, Honestly, to upgrade them with the elixir and then the gems, I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better value to get a little bit less per gem filling up the storage. Remember, we still have two rune of gold, I believe. So I think I might try and use those pretty soon. Like this one's actually going to be a, a relatively good place to use one because we only have 1.8 million gold. Okay, so this takes us to town hall 14, six days. Would it be worth using a book of building here? I guess we got three of them, right? Oh no, I should have used it. I should have used it now, but I can purchase one of them from here. Let's collect this 1 million. Yeah, so absolutely. It was 925 five gems. It's 1,400 here. So let's use the book of building. Town Hall 14. Oh, we get the jungle scenery too. I forgot about that. What have we got here? A level two pet house. I mean, we don't need anything else in there. But this is the only chance we get to add this to our list. And that's the whole point of this account. So thank you for using code judo before purchases in Clash of Clans. It helps with weird decisions like this for videos. But there we go, the pet house. We don't want it. We want it in our list. The items are getting smaller and smaller as we go through. <laughs> Okay, defenses. We've literally got them all. We just need these level one walls. And this is what's really making my base look weird. I didn't leave enough space for the walls. That'll do. Fill up the storages. How many rune of gold do we have left? We have one and one in the gold pass. So that should probably be the last time we fill up the storage, actually. Oh, are you kidding me? How many gems are we going to need? We're not going to need 14,000. I'm going to go 49.99 and then just keep my fingers crossed. Okay, let's power through the rest of Town Hall 14. Rune of gold. Gold at this level. We've got one book of building. Do we have one in the gold pass? We've got the rune of gold. I can get that now. No. You already claimed it, sir. Okay, so the book of building we should use to actually go to Town Hall 15. Oh, do not tell me. We're not going to have enough. So I'm not going to use the rune of elixir here because I don't need as much gold. Should I fill the storages? Is there anything else? After we get this to level 5, the rune of gold will get us to Town Hall 15. I don't think so. We should just get this amount of gold, I think. 
There we go. This gives us maximum value. We need to get the next bit at Town Hall 15 right because we're going to get the spell towers, the monolith. We need to make sure that these are added to our list. The book of building, Town Hall 15, the magic scenery. How big can we get this unplaced item list? One spell tower and one monolith. So we need to purchase one of the spell towers. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? We don't have enough gems. I should have purchased it. Oh, it's doing this again. Are you kidding? What? Why did that happen? Even once we built the spell tower, I can't purchase the... Oh, we're going to have to finish this video later. <laughs> What is happening? Is it because I'm not placing the items? Why is it not making the purchase go through? What does Apple care if I place my Eagle Artillery or not? It's been a couple of days. We still have our unplaced items. Now it's going to let me purchase the Town Hall 15 pack. Ah, that's right. It was the gems that we needed to purchase first, wasn't it? We only need to purchase one spell tower. So actually we should just purchase the amount necessary. So let's go ahead and place the spell tower here next to the scattershot. 2,600 gems. There is one spell tower. Now we can purchase the Town Hall 15 pack. I wonder if anybody has purchased these before and not placed them. So we're not placing the spell tower. Oh, the look at how tiny the icons are. <laughs> wonder what happens when we copy a base. Best base for every town hall level. Let's take a look here. It doesn't let me. <laughs> it can't do it. The account is broken. Who remembers altering bases like this back in the day? Man, I forgot how long that took. A town hall 15. <laughs> and no heroes. I just need to make sure I do not accidentally place any of those items. That is how much it cost us in order to create a broken account. And I have plans for this. So be sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out a YouTube recommended one or when I competed in Jasu's Clash of Clans Millionaire. Enjoy the rest of your day.